I get the question every day, how soon should I start spraying my fruit trees for codling moth? Now we're talking about apples and pears specifically. Codling moth attack apples and pears pretty much all summer long and it can be a big problem when you go to harvest your fruit and you've got little worm holes and little worms inside the apple. So to prevent that, we've got to start at the right time and pretty much consistently spray throughout the summertime as the codling moth fly most of the summer. So this year, the recommended spray date is somewhere between the 1st of June and about the 10th or 15th of June to put your first application on. So those are going to be the best times uh, this year to make those applications. Depending on how you want to go, uh, the Fertilum Fruit Tree Spray is an all-natural, all-organic insecticide that you can use for fruit trees. It does a very good job at controlling calling moth, works on aphids, works on a lot of different other insects, as well as diseases. So this will control powdery mildew as well too. So it's kind of a all-in-one, uh, very all-purpose type product, but it's an all-natural one. So if you want to stay organic, this is a great way to go. And you'd spray about every 10 to 14 days, starting around the first week, second week of June, until about the latter part of August. Uh, the, some other options would be like your Malathion, this one uh, we'd spray about every 10 days. Malathion is very good for spraying cherries also for the cherry fruit fly maggots. Uh, so the Malathion is very good on codling moth and uh, does a great job, but you're spraying about every 10 days, maybe every 14 with the Malathion. Lasts about as long as the Fertilum fruit tree spray. Now, um, this is a new product that Ortho's come out with. It's the flower, fruit, and vegetable spray. The active ingredient in there is called a sale, and the sale we can actually get away with spraying every 14 to 20 days and so you can go a little bit longer between applications and uh, not have to worry about spraying as frequently. So this is a very effective product, also very safe to use on your fruit trees, but uh, takes care of those calling moth very, very well and you're only spraying about every three weeks instead of every two weeks. Now there's a couple different ways we can spray. Now we've got a uh, pump up tank sprayer. If, you're, if your trees aren't very big and you can reach it with a, a tank sprayer like this, uh, very easy to do. We can take the top off, put the concentrate in. Let's say we're going to be making, uh, we're going to be using our, our Fertilum fruit tree spray. So you take the Fertilum fruit tree spray, we're going to use an ounce per gallon has it written right on the front of the bottle, which is really nice. And you'd put an ounce inside your tank sprayer, we'd seal it back up, and then you pressurize it by pumping the top. So you pressurize it, it puts pumps water, uh, air into the, into the tank where you've got water, and then it compresses that air so that after, after multiple pumps, you've got air pressure in there, and then you can spray your tree. Feel the air coming out of there. So, uh, tank sprayer like this, very, very effective, very easy to use, and also very accurate because you know exactly how much concentrate is going into the water. So, if you're supposed to use an ounce per gallon, make sure there's an ounce in each gallon. Go ahead and spray the trees. And you don't need to spray the entire tree, you just need to spray the fruit and the surrounding branches. So, you don't have to spray the trunk or the big branches. Just get out there and spray the fruit because that's where the calling moth are going to attack. Um, the other sprayer that we've got is also made by Fertilone. But this is a hose end sprayer. So the nice thing about this is you can hook it on the end of the hose and it will spray much higher into the air so you can cover probably a 20 or 25 foot tree quite easily with a, with a sprayer like this. It's made out of brass and zinc instead of all plastic so it holds up very, very well. It's one of my all time favorite sprayers. The great thing about this sprayer is when you take the, the bottle off you can put your concentrate inside here but the nice thing about it is you can just take it and you can screw it right onto your concentrated bottle. And uh, since we're using one ounce per gallon, that's equal to two tablespoons per gallon. What you want to do, there's an arrow right here on the side and there's numbers on the top. Those numbers correspond to how many tablespoons per gallon it's going to mix into the water. And so we'd turn that dial to two so that the two lines up with that arrow right there. So it's going to be on two tablespoons per gallon, which is the same as one ounce per gallon. We're going to attach that to our concentrate and hook it to our hose and spray. And for every gallon that comes out the tip, it will siphon the right amount of concentrate up into the water and, uh, and, and spray your tree. So again, don't need to spray the whole tree, just need to spray the fruit and the surrounding branches because that's where the calling moth are going to lay their eggs. Larva is going to hatch out, go after the trees. And if you sprayed it with the fruit tree spray or any of our other sprays, it'll take care of the worms before they get into your apples. Very easy to do and uh, just have to be consistent throughout the summertime to be really effective. Thank you.